Now let's do some uh, final touches here. We'll do a little bit of styling. So what I want to do is uh, one of the options in the bootstrap is to add an active class to a link in our list group over here. So I think it would be kind of cool to set whatever page we've clicked on to be active. So in order to do that, we need to find out what page has been selected or opened. We're going to run into a little bit of a situation here because if we want to find that out, we'd have to run another select query to find out what page is open to get, uh, to get that information because we're finding that out down here. So this opened array isn't available yet when we're making this list. So we could take this and go ahead and place it up here somewhere. But let's go ahead and actually take this and uh, add it to our setup. So let's go ahead and cut this whole if statement out. And let's go to setup.php. And under the page setup, let's go ahead and paste that. And we'll go ahead and back tab it here. But we could even go one step further here. Because we have this data page function already set up, that's pretty much all we're doing right here. So instead of having to put this query in here, we could actually just take this out. And when we run opened equals, we just run the data page function. So data underscore page, send it the uh, database connection, and then send it the ID, which is going to be get ID. And clean things up a little bit. A little less code. And there we go. So now we have the ability to use the opened array across the whole page from line 34 on. So let's hop back over to index and we can get rid of these PHP tags here. And now we can go ahead and check against that. So here in the uh, link tag, the a tag, for the class, we want to add the active class if this is the one that's selected. So let's go ahead and check that. We do PHP tags. We do if page underscore list. And we get the uh, ID. And we're pretty much doing exactly what we did down below with the uh, the uh, select uh, Dropbox. So we do is equal to, and we want to compare it to the opened. So opened ID and our curly brackets. Just want to echo and say active. Can close that and then go after our curly bracket here and close our PHP. Go ahead and save that. Make sure you saved your setup file too. And let's go ahead and test this out and click on one of these. So another one that we've chosen has the active class. So that's pretty cool. Another thing I want to do is uh, I don't like the way this new page button uh, or link looks. So let's go ahead and take the uh, heading off of that and just leave it as a regular link. It'll give it a little bit of contrast too. So save that. Reload the page. There you go. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take that number two off of home page. Save that. Um, and I noticed, see how when we updated it said page added, or page was added? We want to go ahead and change our message too. So let's hop back to our query really quick here. So we have our message here, but we could uh, we want to kind of take this out in both places. So we could run an if statement right here and right here to check to see if post ID was set. Um, but I think there's a more efficient way we could do this. Let's go ahead and just take advantage of the if statement we've made here. And we'll just go ahead and create a variable. So above the uh, query, 
Let's create a variable called, let's call it action. We'll do equals. And for this one, since we're updating, we'll say updated. And then for this one here, above the query, action equals added. So now we'll replace this with that uh, action variable. So we'll go ahead and remove added, concatenate. So we do a, a single quote, then a dot, throw in the action variable and concatenate again and throw in another single quote to continue the string. There we go. So we want to do the same thing down here. So we can just go ahead and copy this from a single quote to single quote and remove added and paste. There you go. So save that. Hop back over to our page. And uh, something I noticed is that when it reloaded the page <coughs> is that after we did the change it kept the uh, home page 2 in there and I know why that's because and that's because when we put the uh, opened array up here when we declared this up here that's being created before we run the uh, insert and update queries So for now, I'm going to have a cleaner way to do this, but for now, let's go ahead and take this out. Let's cut this out. This entire if statement here. Save that and go over to setup. And what we could do is we could go ahead and paste it right here, but that's going to be kind of messy. So let's go ahead and we'll add another file to our config, and we're going to call it queries. And I might come up with a different way to do this later, but for now, let's do it this way. So right-click on config, make sure you're in the admin folder, choose new, file, and we'll call this queries .php. And in this, we're going to paste that if statement. So make sure you do some PHP tags. And inside there, we'll go ahead and paste this. So we'll save that. Head back over to setup. Now we need to include this file. We'll go ahead and do it up here after uh, page setup. So include config slash queries dot php. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and edit our page. So let's actually, uh, let's click on new page just to get the uh, form cleared out. We'll click on home page. And uh, let's just take off the uh, page part, so just be home. And uh, if everything works out right, we should see that page is going to be gone in the title when the form reloads. So save that. So that was loaded right and we got the appropriate uh, message now.